walks, runs, and hikes in the tri-state. I love we're talking about this. We're joined this morning by Cincinnati Magazine editor and chief John Fox. Hey, John, good morning to you, buddy. Hey, bud. How are you doing this morning? Man, I'm doing great. I'm so excited to talk to you about this. I, I love to hike. I love to get out and jog a little Good. bit very, very slowly. And I've been doing a lot of that kind of thing over in Eden yeah. Park and getting up into Mount yeah. Adams. And one of the things I love that I'm sure you guys loved about this too, there are mysterious staircases all over this town, just randomly. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. Talk about yeah. how you put this list together. Well, we started by um, just looking at the, the, the options. Like you said, you just did a piece on a on a paved trail, and there seems to be more and more of that now. Cities and all over the in the tri-state are uh, are adding to their trails. I know they just did that in northern Kentucky, um, and on the riverfront you know, on both sides of the river. Um, but then, like you said, there are staircases, and then even just neighborhoods and and uh, business districts that are easy to walk. And we did. So what we tried to do is, is focus on some of the new things. You talked about Mount Adams. We, we did, we talked about that new um, concourse uh, or commons area that's down where the old uh, uh, reservoir used to be. And yeah. that's open now. Yeah. We also talk about the new plaza over in Covington on the riverfront. And then we also talk about Wasson Way, which is slowly getting built, but we, we talked about what it looks like now and there's plenty to do there now. What do you think it is about having these new walking spaces? Why is this so important to people now? It's, you know, it seems like as, as it people sort of moved out of the, the urban core, if you will. A lot of times yeah. they like to be out in the places where they could take a walk and do that kind of thing. Well, now you can be downtown. You can start at Friendship Park, which I think we just saw a picture of there, and you yeah. can walk yeah. from there and go almost two solid miles and be in a park if you head toward Paul Brown Stadium. It's pretty remarkable. It is, and you know, you we could always walk, but you know, in the past it used to be we're walking on sidewalks or yeah. on the side of roads, and you you know, you're dealing with traffic, and nobody wants to, you know, in a pedestrian car situation, the pedestrians are always going to come in second. So, what's happening now, I think, is this idea that we're coming up with trails and the pathways um, that are separated from traffic, so you don't have to worry about you don't have to be looking over your shoulder about a car. And um, and that's kind of a new thing. And, you know, I'd like to say that part of why we did this was with the pandemic, a lot of people were spending time by themselves or with close friends and walking was an easy way to do some exercise. But the reality is these trails have been planned for years. Yeah. And, um, it, you know, and you, you talk about the stairways, they go back to the 20s and 30s when they, those were built and they're just sort of being rediscovered now. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's way great too the way it's sort of bringing communities together too. Yeah. You know, connecting yeah. one one place to another like we're seeing up there uh, with the trail there in Middletown. Franklin. Well, the other thing about walking, the great thing about walking is, you know, you don't need any equipment. You yeah. really don't need fancy shoes. You don't need a gym membership. Um, you can even walk barefoot if you want. You just get out and you walk and uh Go someplace and you turn around and you walk someplace else. I love it. I can't wait to check out the latest edition. It's, <laughs> it, it does. It, it sounds awesome. Give me some new ideas. I love yeah. it. Thank you. All right, John. Take Appreciate care, buddy. It. Good talking to All you right, as always. See you, Bob. It's uh, almost 9:28. We have a feel-good update.